All right, here we go. This is the Super Mario Brothers level one Mobius trip. It just got crazy popular online when I posted it a few days ago. And I'm so happy everyone's having a good reaction to it, especially around Reddit and other sites. So I wanted to show it to you guys. A lot of people ask for a video of it. It's so very different to have it in your hands to be able to rotate it around. It's, the pictures really don't make it, they make it justice at all. And so what I wanted to do is just play through it. So we'll start back at the end and which is the beginning. So there's Mario and we'll just play through the level. Oh, I'll save you the pain of the song and let's just go through it. So you can see there's every little pipe and cloud and enemy. Everything is represented there. You even have the holes where you can fall through. And everything is extruded so you can actually feel the texture and feel the blocks and you can see them casting shadows. It's very cool. And this was printed through shapeways.com which uh, they actually print in full color so this came out of the printer with all the color already added to it. They add the pigment as they're putting the material down. And let's get through there. And there's the last flag and the beginning and the end and everything again. So it's really cool. It's very solid. There's no way you can break this just by handling it or anything. If you drop it, maybe it will chip or something. But since it's a very simple solid, there's no things sticking out. There's no way you're gonna break it easily. And the color is very cool. There's a little bit of a texture from the 3D printing process that gives it a nice little tactile feeling. And I want to show how I did it. Um, it wasn't really that hard. It looks very complicated, but it wasn't. So let's go to the back here. I have Maya open, which is the software I use. And you can see there's this. Let me adjust this a bit. There. Uh, this is the final model. It's very high density mesh, very complex, but not that easy, not that hard to create really. What I did was uh, I'll hide this guy and I'll show you with this. This is a basic representation of what I ended up with. And that's just basically a a cube that's stretched out and twisted and bent. That's how you make a Mobius strip. Well, that's a basic cube. It was. It just had to be the right proportions to the um, to the level. It's actually about half the length of the level because it has both sides. And what you do is you twist it by 180 degrees. You get that little ribbon, and then you you bend it by a factor of pi, and it just goes like that. You can see there's even a seam over here, it's not perfect, but the 3D printer will not see that. It will just see this as a simple solid. And then to get all the complex stuff in it, every little detail, basically I use an image file and I modified it a little bit. Uh, I used that as a texture as well, but I used it as what's called a displacement map, which pushes the polygons forward depending on how what color the, the image has. So I separated the image in Photoshop, I made the sky black, I made the blocks white, that meant that the blocks will be pushed forward, and I made all the enemies in different scales of gray, so they will be pushed forward but not as much as the blocks, so it looks like they're standing on them. And the same with the clouds, the pipes, everything else. And then I used that and I applied the displacement map in Maya, made sure that the mesh was very high density, I actually had one polygon for each four pixels of the image, which is a lot of polygons. And that made for a very heavy file. It was about 100 megabytes at the end. And yeah, I just uploaded that to shapeways.com and got it printed in full color. And you get it just like this guy here. It's very, very cool, very solid, awesome present, and it looks awesome on your desk. I might have to build a little base or something for it, but it also stands out by itself. And that's it. Hope you guys like it.